Now we are moving on for the question round. Can we have all the contestants on stage? Are you guys ready? Okay. First up, we have contestant number one. Please come center stage. So the contestant will be picking one number. How are you feeling? What? Okay, don't we just take a deep breath? Okay, she picked question number five. Okay, are you ready? Okay, your question is the question is who is your role model in life and what are the examples that you really want to follow? this question because it's a great opportunity for me to tell everyone that my role model is none other than my very own mother for she has guided me, strengthened me and motivated me in every field of life and also it's because of her love and support that's why I'm here today and then one example that I want to follow is a never ending love of a mother to her children no matter what circumstances is. Thank you. Contestant number one, that was a great answer. Contestant number two, can you please come center stage? Pick a number. Contestant number two has picked question number seven. Are you ready? How are you feeling? A little bit nervous. Okay. Don't we just take a deep breath? Your question is, if you could break one rule, what would that be? First of all, a very good evening to one and, to one and all. Thank you for the query. And my answer is, if I got to break a rule, I would like to break any kind of immortal act which is against humanity because I believe in the saying that goes rules are meant to be broken when needed. Thank you so much. Thank you contestant number two. We have, we have contestant number three. Question number one. Are you ready? Take your mic. Yeah. Okay. The question is, how different would the world be if the if women were to rule the world? Thank you for your questions. I think it doesn't matter if whether it's a woman or a man who rules this the world. Because what a woman can do, a man can. But what a man can do, woman can. But according to my question, my answer is, I think I, as a woman, uh, if I got a chance to rule the world, uh, 
my first priority is for the safety of a girl child and then I will stop racism and wars against people, traumatizing drugs and also for women's health. Uh, so only then we can make this world a be better place to live in. So give us a chance through this world. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Number Three. Okay, we move on to contestant number four, Ms. Borki Toy. She picked question number three. So you ready? Okay. Your question is, if you are given a chance to give one good advice to all the MLAs of Meghalaya, what would it be and why? Thank you for your question and my answer is if I had an opportunity, opportunity to give one advice to the all MLA, I would like to request all the legis legislative assembly of the house. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We'll move to contestant number five, Ms. Mathene in the chair. Contestant number five picks question number nine. Are you ready? How are you feeling? I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, don't be. You look stunning, by the way. So, what steps or measure need to be taken to eradicate poverty? I'll repeat the question once again. Just think before you speak. What steps or measures needs to be taken to, er to eradicate poverty? Well, I think the first step that government should be taken to eradicate poverty is the creation of employment opportunities. Secondly is the uh, control of populations and thirdly is the um, pro minimum provisions of need. But as a beauty queen, I can just give the suggestions and measures, but to really implement the causes, I think it should be the politicians' leaders who should really uh, fight and uh, eradicate such problems. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moving on to contestant number six, Ms. Lamida Prasad. Contestant number six picks question number two. How are you feeling? A little bit of nervous. Okay. But don't worry, just take a deep breath again. Okay. You ready now? Okay. The question is, does a woman sacrifice more than a man? Thank you for the question. As a person, as a person who supports gender equality, in my opinion, both men and women have different roles to play in almost every aspect of life, be it at home or in a society as a whole. So I personally feel that both men and women sacrifice equally to fulfill their roles. Thank you. Thank you, Malamida. That was a great answer. Contestant number seven, Lord Wakani Pasa. She picks question number four. Ready? All right. Your question is, what do you concern more about your your health problem or wealth problem and why? Good evening, everyone. 
Thank you so much for your question. Well, I believe that health is one of the most important part in our life. Without health, we cannot achieve anything, including health, including wealth. Um, wealth is um, necessary because it helps us to have a better lifestyle and a, health, and a better health facilities. So I prefer to choose both health and wealth problems. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lord. Moving on to contestant number eight, Ms. Josefina Passa. Contestant number seven, she picks question number six. Contestant number eight, sorry. Hello, Josephina. How are you feeling? I'm feeling nervous. You look like a bride. Thank you. Okay. Good. Your question is, tell us something about the changes that have been made and brought up by this new generation of life. I'll repeat the question again. Tell us something about the changes that have been made and brought up by this new generation of life. Thank you, sir, for your question. In my opinion, I feel that, I feel that this new generation of life has brought up both positive and negative changes. I said positive because our day-to-day -day activities has been made much easier as compared to the older generation. Like the advancement in the field of technology has made everything possible and available at the click of a button from the comfort of our home. It helps us save our time as well as widen our knowledge about everything. Well, I said negative because the very same advancement in the field of technology, if not used wisely or if not used properly, it can drain our time and energy and may even hamper our health. Thank you. Thank you, Josephina. Moving on to contestant number nine, Ms. Wadakahi Tong. Contestant number nine picks question number ten. Hi, Wadakahi. How are you feeling now? A little bit nervous. Okay. All the best. Your question is, why social media is more powerful in this present generation? Thank you for the question. My answer is, social media has a great impact in distribution of information and communication throughout the world. It has a huge impact in education, business, and it helps to improve our knowledge. However, if we fail to use it appropriately, it can harm our life and it can divide us from our goal and responsibilities. Thank you. Thank you, Contestant number nine. Moving on to last contestant, last but not least, contestant number 10, Ms. Jaluba Najir. Please, Jaluba, please come forward. She picks question number 8. You feeling cold? <laughs> okay. Uh, your question is, what is the hardest part about winning? I repeat the question, what is the hardest part about winning? Thank you for your question. My answer is, well, if my hard work is vacation about winning, so I think the hardest part about winning is not winning, but the crown, preparing to win the crown. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vintasi Namitel, Jalu Vandiya. Thank you, Vintasi. We will be back for 
to crown the next Miss Nobody Yogya in a few minutes. Are you all excited? All right. We'll send back the contestant and we'll come back after 5 to 10 minutes to announce the winner. Please take off. Please cheer for them as they proceed to the backstage. Number five, six, contestant number seven, contestant number eight, contestant number nine, and contestant number ten.